Welcome into the WBC arena. You've been waiting a long time. Alongside me, Johnny Nelson. Looking forward to this one, Todd. It's time now for our tale of the tape. Tyson Fury. He is a whopping 206 centimeters tall with a reach of 216. And his opponent here, none other than Alexander Usyk. He's six. Tyson Fury. This multi will beat you down and then sing to you afterwards. Alexander Usyk, the former undisputed cruiserweight champion and heavyweight champion of the world, fighting out of Ukraine. As soon as the bell goes, don't blink. That fight could be over. Well, we're all set. Let's go into the ring for the classy Jimmy Lennon Jr. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from Yorkshire, England, here is a women's super featherweight champion of the world, Terry Belter-Harper. <laughs> Hiding out of the blue corner, from London, England, here is a middleweight and super middleweight champion of the world, known as the Dark Destroyer, introducing Nigel Ben. One of the hottest tickets around. It's standing room only for this, our main event. Todd, you know when you've got two fighters there that really believe they're going to win, really want to get it on? This is when it gets stupid. The fans are ready, and it looks like the fighters are now ready. And there's the bell to start the round. Nice punch. Didn't land that jab. Not so rigid anymore with the stance. Time counter shot. Nice punch. This fighter's completely content to sit back and let you make the first move. That's where they thrive. Todd, I understand what you're saying, but you've got to be on this. You've got to be on it. You've got to be a pro. You've got to think right. Concentrate. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Looks like he's going to move around the ring a little bit more, try some stick and move. Nope, that jab not going to score. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Has to be careful for that receipt. It's always coming. Let's talk about Harper in that last round. They've got the momentum. They've got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next Ring the bell, and here we go. That round was complete domination. Let's see if we can shake things up here in this round. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Every time they... What a massive upset this would be. That was... Defense failed them. Now they're right back into the fray. 
Defense, defense, defense. And at some point, the corner needs to decide we have to protect our fighter. He had his moment, but has it gone by? It's been a tough round so far. It's been a tough, tough round. What did they do? What did they tell him when he goes back to the corner? You can't do that too often or the referee is going to take a point. Yeah, you've got to clinch. What the idea is just to get your opponent to complain to the referee. Get him to complain about the conditions. Get him to just feel uncomfortable. Keep doing a orthodox thing. I don't mind that now and again. But don't make a habit of it. Very competitive round here so far. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Just like a match made in heaven. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I and he'll hug him again, but you can't blame him, can you? There's a tactic to clinch him. When you clinch, you're taking someone out of their pace. You're making them feel uncomfortable. It's something they're not used to. But it's a fashion of clinch as well. You can be a dirty clincher. Pull him, pull the arm out of the shoulder, lean on him, but do it on the blind side of the referee. So he wouldn't be surprised if the referee deducts a point for that. About time, left. Let's talk about Harper in that last round. Well, we know they've got the advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is... We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. After a really strong round, let's see if they can finish the job. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why? Whoa, and you saw the balance go. The knees, the pulse it couldn't take anymore, and down he goes. You up the replay machine. I have got to see that again. I've got to see that again. says we will fight on not sure about this one and there it is the knockdown punch we knew was coming as we take another look you can see it the body shot was pitch perfect and it won in the fight i need to see that again the corner may have to intervene here because this fighter won't stay down. Good up, look at this corner. Look at these They're telling him to calm down. Make the most of the count. Get up, breathe, and move. Get behind the referee. Save yourself a bit of time. You just need to make your way back to the corner. Somehow get to the end of the round. Halfway through the round, and I think he knows he's got a lot of work to do. It's that forever hope. Remember the fight at Evander Holyfield? He could be behind on points until the last 10 seconds. But he's fighting like he's going to pull it back. That's the kind of hope we need to see. I guess showboating is part of their plan. Nice job blocking the left. I need to see that again. Some amazing boxing right there. That's lights out right there.
You heard that right, ladies and gentlemen. A knockout victory and one of the biggest surprises of the year. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. You see shots like that in the gym. At least for once. This is on TV. Thousands around the world saw that shot. They probably even heard it.